In this video, I'll break down some really cool effects in Final Cut Pro 10. Now, I'm going to be using a couple of plugins, kind of like paired with these effects. However, they are completely free. So don't worry, you're not going to need any paid plugins in order to create these really cool effects. The first effect I'm going to go over is this really cool like video collage effect. So all I did was I just stacked a whole bunch of videos on top of each other. And then I offset them by like seven or eight frames. And then I just selected on each individual video clip. As you can see, I just adjust the scale. You can even like move the position over. You can the Y position, you can increase the scale, you can mess with the crop, and you just kind of keep repeating that step and kind of uh, again offsetting them. And you have right here, as I play the video, this really cool like video collage stacking effect, simple as that. The next effect I'm gonna go over is really cool like color isolation effect. So if I select in this clip right here, head over here to the, the color section, you want to just simply add a color board, you want to select on saturation, and then you want to hover here, click on this icon, and you want to click on add color mask, and then all you want to do is this eyedropper tool, and then you can select the color you want to isolate. So we'll go ahead and we just want to select like this red on his jacket, and there we go. Now what you do is you want to click on the outside, so click on this outside tab, make sure you're under saturation, and you can just simply drop the saturation. So it's only saturating like the actual subject, and of course you could actually hold down um, the option key to go ahead you can um, hold down the option key to kind of like remove uh, some of the color or you can actually hold down the command key to add some more of the color so you, you can like switch between those keys but you're just selecting a certain color and then you're just desaturating it desaturating kind of like outside that color mask now another really cool thing you can do too is I head over here to the effects panel go to blur and then if I apply like a prism blur onto the clip as you can see you have this really cool like RGB thing uh, RGB like edges and you can of course adjust the mount and there is this really cool like color isolation effect the next effect I want to go over is this really cool like blurred edges effect so if I go ahead and play this video right here you can see this really cool like blurred edges around the subject all I did was just simply add as you see a radio blur so just simply add a radio blur to the video clip and then I just set the amount to five. The next effect I'm gonna go over is really cool like video inside text effects. So if you can see, if I play the videos, you can see there's like a video inside this text. So all you wanna do is you wanna open up this compound clip. As you can see, this is what it looks like. You just have a text layer. It's just a simple text layer, adjust it to your liking. Now what you wanna do with this text layer is you want to uh, change the blend mode to stencil alpha so change the blend mode to stencil alpha and then you want a video below that text layer so again add a video clip add a text layer adjust it to your liking and this uh, text clip should be on top of the video blend mode change to stencil alpha and then you want to create a compound clip so you can see the clip behind it so you, you do you select on all the clips and then press on you press on um, option G and that is going to create a compound clip so that's basically the compound clip here really simple really easy the next effect I want to go over is this really cool like inverted text effect with a really cool like glow around the text as you can see here is the first text layer all I did was I changed the blend mode to difference and then I went ahead and kind of like duplicated that uh, text layer so these text layers are the same so I go ahead and disable the top one these are the same text layers however on this bottom text layer I added a Gaussian blur so I added a Gaussian blur so you see as a really cool like glow around the text and then I changed the blend mode to overlay so again I'll show you the settings change the blend mode mode to difference on the top text layer, the bottom text layer, change, add like a Gaussian blur effect, and change the blend mode to overlay. The next effect is a very simple effect. All I did was I just took a photo right here, so you can see here's just a simple still frame. It lasts for eight frames, and this one lasts for eight frames. These are literally the same photos, but if I click on this, as you can see, nothing happens, and then I just duplicated the photo, and if I click on the duplicated one, I just increased the scale to 175, and adjusted the position and Y. So all basically is just like a photo, and then it just crops and I just think this is a very subtle effect, but it can make your still photos look a lot cooler. The next effect I want to go over is really cool like video loop effect. So if I go ahead and play the video, as you can see, it like reverses and then loops, kind of like a boomerang effect. So these three clips are basically all the same. So you have this clip right here, and you're just going to duplicate the clip two different times. So these three clips are the same clips. However, if I click on this clip and then click on Command R, you can see the speed is reversed. So in order to reverse the speed, all you want to do is select the clip right here, go over here to the settings right here, and then just click, um, simply click on reverse clip. So all you, as you can see, right here if I play the clip so play the clip right here and then as you can see now it's going in reverse and then it's going back to normal speed that's just a really cool you know really cool subtle effects that kind of those like Instagram uh, boomerang effects the next effect I want to go over is really cool like zoom sequence effect so if I go ahead and play the video as you can see these clips are just zooming in really fast really simple really easy I just have a whole bunch of clips I set the duration of each clip to five uh, five frames you want it pretty quick so all you want to do is you want to select the clip right here as you can see 
see and you want to place a keyframe on the scale and then you want to go to the end of the clip so you want to go to the end of the clip and but you want to go back one frame so if i go back one frame as you can see here is the keyframe so the clip in total is five frames but i'm only keyframing the first four frames from 100 to 250 and then you just keep replicating that for all three of these clips and then basically you have a really cool smooth where the clips are just zooming in now again you want to go back one frame you only want the first four frames you don't want the total five frames being keyframed because i just feel like it doesn't look that good now all i did was i just simply applied motion blur on top of the clip this is a free plugin from ryan nagel that he has a whole whole separate tutorial showing how to use this and how to install it and everything like that but i just simply add some motion blur just to add a little bit of blur and smooth it out the next effect i'll go over is this really Really cool like digital zoom in effect so it can make your very like static tripod shots kind of where just nothing's really happening it can give it a lot of life so all i did was i simply applied an adjustment layer on top of the clip and then i also applied some motion blur just to add a little bit of blur to the actual like animation now these are two plugins from ryan nagel and they are essential if you edit videos in final cut and don't worry they are completely free so basically as you can see i, I applied this adjustment layer on top of this clip i placed a keyframe on rotation and a keyframe on scale and then i basically just keyframe as you see my the uh, scale parameters and the rotation parameters are moving so as simple as that and I just basically went to the end of the adjustment layer and then of course or you can go back one frame too I like to do that too go back one frame as you see it scales to 140 and then um, the rotation five degrees so just all you're doing is just simply animating the scale and rotation as you can see look it just adds a little bit of digital camera room it's a very subtle effect but it can make again those very boring tripod shots a little more interesting the next effect I'm gonna go over is a very small effect and that's just simply like a light ray effect as you can see this really cool like light ray effect on the clip if we go ahead and disable it here is before and then here's after very simple very subtle effect now the effect is not actually called light ray it's actually called glory and then you go and just apply that into your clip and in this case i just increased the amount really subtle really cool effect the next effect i'm going to go over is really cool like photo cutout animation now this was a really popular effect and i'm probably i'm sure you've probably seen it somewhere scrolling through instagram as you can see if i go ahead and play the clip you have this really cool like photo cutout animation as you can see, I have all these different cutouts of this subject, and I just duplicate it as many times as I want. And basically, as you can see, you're just having it like offset. So here's the first one that comes on, then the next one that comes on, then the next one that comes on. So you're basically just offsetting the frames, and then you're, of course, adjusting the scale, the position, whatever you think looks the best. Now you could go in Photoshop and cut it out, or you could also select on the photo, head over here to the effects panel, go to all, and then you can just type in the draw mask tool. So if we apply the draw mask tool onto the photo, as you can see, you could basically just cut out the subject. I'm gonna do a really rough job. So you can just simply take the draw mask tool, cut out the subject. Let's just do it. Mean, this again, this is not gonna be very perfect. I'm just quickly rushing through this, but this is just the main idea. Or you could also go in like Photoshop, or there are a whole bunch of other places you could cut out photos. So we go ahead and select the draw mask, and there we go. We had just simply cut out the, the uh, subject. And of course, do the exact same thing as you can see right here, and the exact same thing that you see right here. The next effect I'm going to go over is this really cool like stop motion paper rip transition. Now I'm using my paper rips from Brian Damata. It is going to cost a little bit of money. However, if you don't want to spend the money, I'm sure you can probably find some free paper rips, you know, on Google or just go ahead and type in like paperrip.png and you'll probably find some free ones, but mine are from Brian Damata. As you can see, this is what it looks like. So here's the first frame, the second frame, and the third frame. It just creates this really cool like paper rip transition. I'm just going to kind of break down how to do it. So if we open it up right here, as you can see, this is what the uh, clip looks like. So you basically have a paper rip and then you have like a, a photo beneath it. If I go ahead and disable the draw mask, this is what it looks like. So you're simply just placing the paper rip on top of the photo. Then what you're doing is you're uh, selecting the actual photo itself and then you're adding a draw mask. But the important thing is, as you can see, you're tracing it along the paper rip. So you're applying it onto the actual photo, but you're uh, tracing along the paper. But as you can see, there we go. That's how you create that. So as you see before and then after, after and if we go so that that's the top part and then if we go ahead over here and if we go ahead and disable it here is the kind of like the bottom photo so it's just simple as that it's really simple really easy now all you would do is you go to each individual frame you can, of course they create compound clips and of course all I did was I just adjusted the scale and adjusted the rotation to create a compound clip select other clips and I click on option G and then of course I like, use the blade tool to kind of split them up to kind of create that really cool like stop motion effect the next effect I want to go over is this really cool like mirror effect so all I did was I selected this clip right here and then just applied the collider tile so before and then after and all you want to do is you should be adjust the width you can adjust the width 
you could of course adjust the height and you know simple as that really simple really easy effect the next effect i want to go over is this really cool like picture flip effect so if i go ahead and play the clip as you can see this really cool like slideshow picture flip effect let me just give you a basic idea of how to do it all you want to do is you can see these are just still frames or still photos all you want to do is you want to kind of drag the photo off the screen so it's it's starting off the screen so in this case a, a 1120 pixels off the screen i placed a keyframe on the position then i went forward one two three four five and then keyframe it back down to zero now these photos are six frames but i only uh only keyframe the first five frames so i would encourage you to do it rather than just having the entire six frames only keyframe the first five frames always leave at least one frame where it's not being keyframed at all and if i go to the next one as you can see it's just literally the same process over and over again just simply keyframing it now i also added some motion blur so you can see there's a little bit of motion blur to help make the animation look a lot uh, nicer i also added like a camera flash i have a preset on my digital store but if you don't want to spend the money or you don't want to you want to do completely for free all i did was I just simply as you can see i just added like a color board so like over here to the color board and then i just simply placed a keyframe and then i keyframe the, the highlights the, the basically I just keyframe the exposure the keyframe to go really bright and then really dark so you could do that for free or of course you could actually go ahead and buy my preset but again if you don't want to spend the money that's just basically how you a basic way to do it and that's basically how you create this really cool picture flip effect the last effect i want to go over is a really cool audio effect and the effect is called lo a low pass filter so all you want to do is you want to apply the au low pass filter onto your actual like video clip so go ahead over here to parameters all i did was i found and basically figured out where i wanted to start so as you can see the, the cutoff frequency is this is the cutoff frequency number and the resonance the resonance however, however you pronounce that is at zero and i placed keyframes on both on both parameters right here and i basically went to the end however, like basically wherever i wanted to stop and in this case the end of the audio track and as you can see if i select on the audio track right here I basically just keyframed it right here. So literally as simple as that. All you're doing is you're just keyframing the parameters. So if I go ahead and head over here, you'll see the parameters. You see uh, this is a number and it's zero. And if I go ahead and go frame by frame, you can see all I'm simply doing is I'm just keyframing those parameters to give it that really cool muffled uh, low pass filter effect. Very cool, very subtle effect, but I personally really like it. Anyways, hopefully you really enjoyed this video. Before you click on this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, if you're looking for some really cool Final Cut Pro plugins, presets, overlays and transitions, definitely go ahead and check out my digital store. The link is down in the description below. Anyways, I will see you in the next one. Peace.